Run a series in her coffee cakes, baked in one of the bakers. Runner received an order for the delivery of 420 cakes. Runner placed on the cakes in bags, and each bag contained 12 cakes. Find the number of bags. We will use the hair long division to find the number of bags. Suppose she wants to distribute 12 cakes of each bags. We won't find the number of bags using long division. First number, the dividend would be 420 and divisor 12. Write 420 divided by 12. 24 divided by 12 equal what? 42 divided by 12. We know 4 divided by 12, we can do it. And 3 times 12 equals 36. It's in to the number. Find the difference. 32 minus 36 equals 6. And then drop 0. Skist divided by 12 equals 5. 5 times 12 equals skist. Then the result here will be 35. We have 35 bags. Which are letter B. A baker prepared 252 pieces of Miklava at party. If each tray contained 12 pieces of Miklava, how many trays will be needed to prepare all the Miklava? We can find the number. We find the number of trays by using division. Which are letter B. 252 divided by 12 2 divided by 12 we can't do it 25 divided by 12 equal 2 2 times 12 equal 24 there is 2 25 the difference will be 1 and then drop 2 12 divided by 12 equal 1 1 times 12 equal 12 then the result here would be 21. We have 21 trays. Okay, question letter C. If the total price of 25 bucks is 2825 pounds, it's the total. What is the price of 36 boxes? First step here, we must find the price of each book by using long division and then. The result multiplication by 36 to find the price of 36 boxes. Okay, we have two steps here. First step here, we can find the price of each book. Of each book will be equal what? We have 2825 divided by 25 because the total cost of 25 is 2825 pounds the base of each book it will be 2825 divided by 25 right 0 2 divided by 25 less than 28 divided 25 equal 1 1 times 25 it will be 25 it's in this to this number the difference between 28 and 25 it will be 3 and then the 2 32 divided 25 equal 1. 1 times 25 equal 25. And 32 divided 25 equal 7. Then drop 5 here. 75 divided by 25 equal 3. 3 times 25 equal 75. Then the price of each it will be 113 boxes. So, what's the price of 30 box? We can find the price of 30 box by multiplication. 113, the price of each box, multiplication, the number of boxes. Then, the next step here, we can find the price of each of 36 box. It will be equal multiplication between 113 and 36 
we can find the product between two numbers by using long multiplication right here 116 times 36 3 times 6 equal 18 8 carry of 1 1 times 6 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7 1 times 6 equals 6 plus 1 equals 7 plus 0 3 times 3 equals 9 3 times 1 equals 3 3 times 1 equals 3 8 7 plus 9 equals 16 6 and the carry of 1 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 3 equals 11 1 and the carry of 1 3 plus 1 equals 4 then the result will be Three times six eighteen eight and the carry of one one times six equals six plus one equals seven one times six equals six three times three equals nine three times one equals three three times one equals three and sum between them it will be four thousand sixty eight the price of each box one four thousand sixty eight pounds we can write the result here pounds okay close question letter C Question uh, letter D. A school library, a school library uh, received 45 boxes of 84 boxes. Each of these boxes will be distributed among 12 cupboards. How many books will be there in each cupboard? We can find it by using long division between. What and what again? Reading which letter? This is called library received the 45 boxes of 84 boxes. Okay, we can find product between 45 and uh, 84 to find the total of boxes and then divided it, distributed among 12 cupboards. Okay, so the first step we want to find how many boxes here. We have 45 boxes and each one has. Uh, for 84 okay understood we have 45 boxes and each one contains of 84 boxes you must find the number of boxes find the number of boxes by using product between 45 and 84 okay we can write the number of boxes it will be equal what write 45 product by 84 right 45 and 84 long the multiplication 84 times 45 4 times 5 equal 20 right 0 and carry up 2 and 5 times 8 equal 40 40 plus 2 equal 42 and then write 0 here 4 times 4 equals 16 6 and carry up 1 to 4 times 8 equal 32 plus 1 equal 33 0 6 plus 2 equal 8 and 4 plus 3 equals 7 and write 3 then the result will be 3780 we have 3780 boxes now we will want uh, to distribute among 12 cupboards how many boxes will be there in each cupboard we can find the number of boxes in each cupboard by using longer division between the number of boxes and number of cupboards next step 3780 divided by 12 we have here 12 cupboards okay to find the number of boxes in each cupboard using long division okay right here 3780 divided by 12 3 is then and 37 divided by 12 is the nearest number 3 because 3 times 12 equals 36 the difference between them 1 and then drop 8 18 divided by 12 equal 1 1 times 12 equal 12 and then difference between two numbers will be 6 and then drop say 0 here 60 divided by 12 equal 5 5 times 12 equals 60 so we have here 315 boxes in each cupboard understood okay next question uh, letter e hazim has five packs of red pencils it uh, with 32 pencil and the four boxes below pencils each has each pack has 16 pencils he wants to distribute them invently to eight of his friends how many pencils will each friend get okay 
First step, we must find the total number here by using two steps here and third steps to find the sum of them to find the total and uh, next step find how many uh, how many pencils and uh, blue pencils uh, red and pencils blue to each friend okay first step we have five bags of pencils and each with 35 pencils first step we can find the number of pencils red number of pencils red okay and then number of pencils blue okay and then we must add two numbers here okay it's a method and this number we will get it here we will divide it by eight friends to find each one will get how many pencils with uh, each one okay okay uh, to find the number of pencils red you find by using multiplication we have five, have five packs uh, of red pencils and each was 32 2 times 5 equal 10 0 and the care of 1 3 times 5 15 plus 1 equal 60 so we have 160 red pencils right here pencils and the number of pencils blue we have four boxes all uh, of each bag has 16 pencils four times six equal 32 right two and carry up three okay uh, four times six equal 24 right four and carry up two but four times eight equals 32 okay Again, 4 times 6 equals 24, right? 4 and carry up to 1 times 4 equals 4, plus 2 equals 6. We have 64 pencils. Now we will add them 160 red pencils and blue pencils, 64. 4 plus 0 equals 4. 6 plus 6 equals 12. 2 and carry up 1, 1 minus 1 equals 2. So we have the total number here 224 pencils. And now we want to distribute the total number 224 by 8 friends. Look at here 22 divided by 8 equal 2 because 2 times 8 equals 16. 16 count from 16 to 22 it will be 6. So 2 times 8 equals 16 and remainder 6. 64 divided by 8 equal 8 then each one will be get what 28 pencils each one will get 28 pencils next question question letter f a school has 604 boys and 512 girls it is intent to divide the boys and girls equally to into 25 classes in the school how many students will be in each class okay first step we must know the number of all the students in the class and find the total we can find the total by a number of boys and the number of girls okay question f first step we must find the total by a to number one uh, we have here uh, 604 boys and 521 girls 1 plus 4 equal 5 and 2 plus 0 equal 2 5 plus 6 equal 11 so we have 1125 students in the class okay and then we can find each class will be what 1125 divided by 25 we have here 25 classes we want to find how many students in each class using long division right 1125 divided by 25 1 divided by 25 we can't do it 11 divided by 25 we can't do it 112 divided by 25 equal 4 because 4 times 25 equal 100 and the difference between them equal 12 and then drop the next number it will be 5 125 divided by 25 equal 5 5 times 25 equal 125 and then 
we will have in each class 45 students okay we have here 45 students next question question uh, number three complete using ventigram we won't find the two numbers here about question number three ventigram here the circles intersection in this part uh, here three and two and two and three and five three times two equals six six times two equals twelve three times three equals nine nine times five equals forty five Remember, two numbers here will be twelve and forty five push a letter b common prime factors are the common prime factors here will be what who can write common prime number it will be three question letter c greatest common factor is three and question letter d list common multiplication between them right two times two times three times three times five two times two four 3 times 3 equals 9, 9 times 5. And 4 times 9 equals 36 times 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. Write 0 and carry up 3. 3 times 6 is 15, plus 3 equals 18. And the result will be 180. The list of multiplication, it will be 180. Which letter E? Are the two numbers the table prime numbers or not? No. Because the greatest common factor between them is 3, 12, and 45. We can call it relatively prime numbers if the greatest common factor between two numbers equal 1. Okay. Question, letter, question number 4. Okay. We have two circles here, 5, 2, 3, and 7. First number will be 10, and second number 3 times 7 equals 21. Two numbers will be 10 and 21. The common prime factors it will be 1. Okay, we haven't common prime, no. no. We won't find the common prime. We haven't the common prime. Factor is here. Okay, none. We can write a none. Okay, let us see. Just one factor between them equal one. This part meaning here one. Okay. Let us D. List common multiplication between ten and twenty one. Write five. Multiplication by two. Multiplication by three. Multiplication by seven. It will be. 10 times 21 will be 210 because 10 and 21 we call that relatively prime numbers and in two relatively prime numbers the head common factor between them equal 1 which are letter E are two numbers relatively prime yes because the greatest common factor between them equal 1 next question Number five. Ahmed wants us to grow twenty jasmine plants and thirty flu plants in his garden. Ahmed wants us to plant all these plants in the basins so that each basin contains the same number of two types of plants. Right, the numerical expression that represent the largest number of bonds he can plant. Okay, we can find it by using Vendegram or write factorization to number and write the head common factor between two numbers. Okay, first number 20 and second number 30. We have 20. And 30, the height common factor between them equal 10. 
20 divided by 10 equal to and 30 divided by 10 equal to 3 then the result will be this one factor between them it will be 10 write 10 in the result here about question number 5 okay we know 20 equal 2 times 2 times 5 and 30 equal 5 times 2 times 3 We have two multiplication by five equal ten. Okay, the result will be ten. Next question number six. A merchant has sixteen kilogram of oranges. And 24, uh, 24 kilogram of apples. So, if the merchant wants to divide the oranges and apples in bags of the same mass, what is the largest number of bags uh, that can be made uh, for each type of fruit? Does each bag have the same mass? How many kilograms of oranges will each bag contain? How many kilograms of apples will each bag contain? Okay. We want to distribute 16 and 24, 16 oranges and 24 apples in the boxes, okay? But we want to find the number of boxes and number of oranges, number of apples put in each box, okay? We will use here this method using greatest common factor or thinking how can I divide 16 and 24 by using height common factor between two numbers. Height common factor between two numbers, it will be what you can using Venn diagram or using factorization about 16 and 24, right? 16 equal 2 times 2 equal 4, 4 times 2 equal 8, 8 times 2 equal 16, and uh, 24 equal 2 times 2 equal 4, 4 uh, times uh, 2, 4 times 6 equal 24, 4 times Two equal eight. Eight times uh, three equal twenty-four. Then draw the circles here, and then write your second factor. It will be two times two times two. Two times two equal four. Four times two equal eight. It's the least common factor between two numbers, sixteen and twenty-four. Understood? It was question number six. We have greatest, how many greatest numbers? The greatest box will be 8. So the result here, the greatest boxes, it will be 8, okay? And we will put in each one two, the common here, count with me, how many oranges and apples in each one, okay. We can write here 24 plus 24 plus 16 equal, write it here, 8 boxes. We have 8 boxes. 24 divided by 8 equal 3 and 16 divided by 8 equal 2. So we will put in each one 3 of apples, 3 apples. Okay, and 2 here oranges okay in this example we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight boxes and we will put in each one three apples and two oranges three apples and two oranges okay three apples and two oranges and so on three apples huh okay and two oranges and so on okay Question number seven. Mahmoud wanted to divide 28 pins and 42 neat box into groups so that each group contains the same number of, of tools. What is the largest number of groups that can be configured for each type of instrument to have for each same number group? How many pins are in each group? 
and what is the number of notebooks in each group okay first step we can find the number of groups by using distributive two numbers by multiplication and find the common factor between two numbers or factorization two numbers right 28 equal what we know 28 equal 4 times 7 and 4 equal 2 times 2 and raise 7 and the next number here 42 is the number of notebooks. books 42 equal 6 times 7 7 multiplication by 2 multiplication by 3 and then circles the common factors common brain factors between them to raise the common factor the less common factor between them it will be 2 times 7 it will be 14 and then we can write uh, it by using factorization write the common number here 2 and 2 and the result here would be 2 the first number was 28 and the next se is second number 42 2 and 2 uh, 2 and 7 okay it was uh, 2 and 7 and here 3 outside then the greatest common factor it will be 2 times 7 equal 14 so we will have 14 groups okay we will have 14 groups in each group two pins and three notebooks okay we have 14 groups and each one contains of two pins and the three notebook okay understood the grid scum factor between them equal 14 and we will have 14 groups and each group contains of two pins and three naughty box. Question number eight finds the greatest fa factor and list multiplication by using uh, Venn diagram between two numbers 24 and 16. Okay, we know 24 equal 4 times 6 and 4 equal 2 times 2 and 6 equal 2 times 3. And the next number here is 16 equal 8 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16 and we will circles here the greatest common factor equal 2 times 2 times 2 the result will be equal 8 okay it's the greatest common factor between two numbers and the least common multiplication between them we can write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 2 times 2 equal 4 4 times 2 equal 8 and 3 times 2 equal 6 6 times 8 equal 48 it's the least common multiplication between two numbers okay using vindigram it's a vindigram okay i will draw vindigram here circles first number was 24 and second number was 16 or is the common between them 2 and 2 and 2 and the remainder here 3 and here the remainder was 2 okay it's a vindigram question number 9 